Hello and welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Tobin, a.k.a. Tobinator the Motivator. And this is episode 23, Improving Spiritual Health. Guys, I uh, appreciate you all tuning in today. Hope you've had a blessed week. Um, I know there's been a lot going on, a lot of things. You know, we may or may not be able to predict happens in the world, but uh, we can combat a lot of these things that come at us with our um, our strong mental uh, physical and spiritual foundations, hence the name of the podcast. Uh, this episode is going <clears> to <throat> focus more on spiritual uh, health and wellness. Um, and like I said, a lot, this is a you know, this is obviously a Christian podcast. But you know, if you're tuning in and you're not, you don't have really any kind of faith. You can still kind of search deeper with some of this stuff too. I will obviously, obviously always pray for you guys uh, to be enveloped in the light of God. I'm not going to beat you over the head with a Bible. That's not how it works. Um, but there is one way, in my opinion, to heaven. That's Jesus, the way, the truth, and the light. Um, but we can talk about that another time offline um, if you guys have any questions about that. But again, not going to beat anybody over the head with the Bible. Um, you guys know how I feel about about all that. But uh, that spiritual <clears throat> fitness and how it relates to uh, the world that's around us. You know, generally people want to have that life uh, of meaning and, <clears throat> and purpose. And when you reach that goal, you find that purpose, you find your meaning, uh, it can put harmony in your life and everybody around you, and you all grow together uh, towards something that's really positive. So I'm going to have a couple points that we're going to go over here uh, in just a little bit. Again, try to keep this keep this brief because um, you know I know everybody's got a lot of stuff going on, um, but I appreciate again you all guys tuning in. If <clears throat> if you like what you see, if you like. Uh, the content of this podcast. If you like what we've got going on here, uh, please uh, subscribe to the notification bell so you can see when these things pop up. You know, I've got another half of the channel that's all fitness and motivation that way. So tune in, subscribe, drop some comments, drop some likes. Uh, that's awesome. Gets the traffic, you know, helps the algorithms and all that jazz. Um, and definitely share it too on whatever, whatever platform that you're on. Uh, I have found that <laughs> Facebook does not like YouTube links. They never have. So sometimes you have to post it and then post in the comments. I don't know. It's it's weird. I'm trying not to, not going to obsess too much over social media. This 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 podcast hits who it needs to hit. I think so. Uh, but it is it is cool to help you know spread that word. So before we get talking about spiritual fitness, let's hit it with a quick word of prayer, and then we will jump right in. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the purpose and the meaning that you uh, give in our lives, Lord. Lord, you uh, loved us while we were yet sinners, and you you took upon yourself to grant us all salvation so long as we believe in you. Lord, thank you for uh, the strength to endure all the craziness that's going on in the world. Lord, we just ask that you continue to uh, keep a hedge of protection around us, around our families, keep us strong in our faith to you. Keep our eyes on you, Lord, uh, that we may hit that goal of being all together in heaven one day with you. But until then, let's bring as many people on this journey as we possibly can so that we can all just live in peace with you. Lord, I ask that you give me the words to say today and give everyone with eyes to see and ears to hear. Let them just, let's just have a conversation, Lord, and just let it be focused on you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Spiritual health. Probably one of the most important pillars of fitness. I think I would argue the most important pillar um, because that's your foundation upon which you build everything else. Yes, your body. This is your your flesh. This is how we um, navigate throughout this physical realm, right? There's a whole other realm around us, guys. It's a spiritual realm. And if you're not well-equipped in the spiritual realm, you're going to be more likely to, to, your physical body is going to be affected more so. Demonic oppression is a real thing. It's different than, than possession. A lot of people think, oh, that somebody's just possessed. Well, a lot of people are actually demonically oppressed. It's because they haven't put, and put on and maintained their spiritual armor. And they can't deflect off all this stuff, whether it's addiction or if it's... Um, you know, financial hardships or family troubles and you know, generational curses and all this stuff, right? Um, that can be mitigated with a healthy relationship with God and having your spiritual armor really, really intact and well-maintained. So that's, that's, that's huge when it comes to 
like I said, your physical body. Because a lot of times people feel stressed. You can see it in their faces. It's almost just like a weight on them. You remember in, everybody's seen Lord of the Rings, I hope so. Or else it won't make any sense. Um, in Lord of the Rings, in um, the two towers, Theoden King, the King, of, the King of Rohan, right? He's just worn down because he's just, his mind has been taken over and he's been oppressed by uh, Saruman, right? And all it takes is for a good group of just morally righteous heroes, Gandalf and the like, to come in there and drive that out of him. And what does he do? He just flourishes back to life. They go out and they ride and they fight and they Helm's Deep and all that stuff. Um, but you, you see what I'm saying? That, that's, a, that's a real thing, guys. People are can be weighed down by the spiritual realm. Um, you know, people in alcoholism and drug, drug addictions, you see how they physically change due to that oppression and and a lot of times that can open up uh, the door to possession. Um, when people get hit that rock bottom where they're finally just like, look, just just use this vessel. I'm, I'm done. They give up. They're still in there somewhere, but they give up. And that demon has a place to hang out. So we have to always stay in the word. Always stay in prayer. All right. The demons know who's in charge. When Jesus, when Jesus showed up and they... And the man came out of the tombs, and they had a legion of demons inside of him. They knew, son of man, why have you come to torment us before our time? They knew who was up. They knew who he was. Nobody else really got it yet, but the demons knew who was in charge. And Jesus drove them out. Okay? That's how important it is to understand the spiritual realm that exists all around us. You just can't see it, but you can feel it. And the more in tune you are with your with your spirit and with the Lord, the more you start to see these things. You know, you start to wake up, really. And you can see behind the, you know, the agendas of the world and all this stuff. And you see the division that people try to create between one another. And you become, you become more privy to it, right? So let's get, get back. This is not really, that wasn't really off track. That kind of segues into how can we improve our spiritual fitness? something flowing around here um first thing foremost ex explore your uh, spiritual core you know you have to really look deep in, in yourself and say you know who who am i what is my purpose what do i value most in this world and you can really take time to <clears throat> to reflect and try to figure out uh what gives you the most fulfillment all right am i Am I right now, I'm working at, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or <clears throat> wherever I find, find myself at, wherever, you know, times are tough. You find yourself in a, in a rut. And there's nothing wrong with those places, don't get me wrong. But sometimes people just get a job and they just get a job just to have a job. But they're not actually doing what they're passionate about, what fulfills them. You know what I mean? Sure, I'd love it for everybody to be an artist and make music and that, and that kind of stuff. But that, that stuff really doesn't doesn't pay, right? doesn't pay the bills. But that's something you're passionate about. Use that as a hobby. Help that to fulfill the void that you might have, you know, uh, be lacking somewhere else, right? Um, <clears throat> but find your purpose. Find really what makes you happy. If if art is something, again, like this, if art is your thing, maybe start a nonprofit and get people together who like to do art and, you know, use that to help somebody else. You know what I mean? Um, take it a step further. Don't just... Don't just sit there and think about, you know, yourself. This is, you know, that's part of it. Obviously, you have to be able to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. But find what, uh, pay, really pay attention over the course of, you know, days, weeks, months of what really uh, motivates you, what really gives you that true sense of fulfillment and purpose. Um, for me, it's helping people. The, uh, the career I'm in right now, the career field is a, is a uh, security consult consultant uh, type of gig. It is... It is Technically a sales position, but I get to go into a lot of cool places <clears throat> and see how I can help keep people safer. I got a, I got a visit. Uh, I had a visit uh, here recently where I got to go uh, to a religious center and see how I can help keep that particular uh, congregation a lot safer. All right. So that's that's very fulfilling to me <clears throat> to be able to help people. And if they don't spend a dollar, they don't spend a dollar. It is what it is. But um, the things I can sit there, get their minds wrapped around how they can be safer and, you know, overall best practices as that, that means a lot to me. So I have, I feel like I have really found my purpose. Uh, you know, that, <clears throat> that in fitness and I, you guys see the videos all the time. I, I drop a lot of fitness videos. So that's my passion. Now you have to figure out what yours is and how you can take that 
and really, and again, it's not always about dollars and cents. I've had people offer me, you know, six-figure jobs, but I would be miserable and would never see my family. I'd rather take a little bit lower of a of a salary, but see, go to, still get to see my family and have, um, in my sanity, right? So you really have to ex explore your spiritual spiritual core. Step two, uh, or point two, whatever you want to call it, um, look for deeper meanings and things. Um, really, again, it kind of goes back to the first, look for patterns in your life, look for things that uh, you can control. Okay. So there's, there's patterns in my life, things that happen all over time. What can I control? You know, what can, is out of my control, but what, how can I manage and, and react to, how can I manage and react to what, uh, what is happening to me and find those deeper meanings and really try to, um, uh, be aware of them. And, you know, kind of use that as your guard. Okay, I can control this. I can't control that. So let's find somewhere in the middle that I can, um, that I can, I can find that, that middle road and help me lead, lead that happy life. Things are going to come up. I get it. Um, you're going to bounce off one side or the other, but um, that, that'll help you find a, you know, kind of a more uh, happy life is, is kind of filtering out because a lot, a lot of white noise, right? Trying to filter out into Things I can control, things I can't control, and how do I respond to, to this thing by using these things? Does that make sense? So deeper meanings. Um, point three, get it out. Talk to somebody. You know, after after you have a if it's a long day, if it's a it's a, it's an eventful day, an event filled day, a wild experience, a traumatic experience, um, a lot of times, and, and this is just true of the world today is a lot of people who just don't have the tools and they don't have the um they don't have the tools to filter that stuff out and to make sense of it so sometimes you have to talk to somebody else you may be a third party or talk to a professional and they can help you kind of sort that stuff out again back into those things that you can't control and the things that you can't control and how to um bring that all back together all right so yeah, get it out. You got to let it out. Though. If, you, if you start bottling it up, I think we talked about it last week, you start bottling up that monster, right? Eventually it's going to come out and it's not going to be pretty. All right. Let it out so you can try to filter it all out. Okay. All right. Uh, exercise. We talk about it all the time. You know, this is, I said, this is really a, a spiritual um, filled episode, but exercise plays a important role in that too, because it's going to help uh, lower your stress. It's going to help get your, get your mind right because emotional and physical, these emotional and um, physical strains on your body, you get that endorphin high, you get that good, the, that good chemical cocktail rolling off in your system. It's going to help uh, alleviate that stress and give you more of a, a clear head. All right. Um, lower stress, boost your immune system, which we all clearly need right now. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see a lot more people are pushing that rather than just a, a, a quick fix. And y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Um, it's going to lower your blood pressure, reduce your anxiety, and all these things. If you if you let them continue to manifest, it's going to have that physical toll on your body, all right? And it's going to help uh, again reduce that depression, fatigue, uh, insomnia, all that all that jazz. Um, plenty of gyms are still open right now. I think a lot of people are going to be like, no, we're not, you know, shutting down again because we know that obesity is a big factor in what's going on right now, right? Got to take care of your body. As soon as I get done recording this, I'm going to try to get a little something-something in before I've got to get to work, right? Um, yeah, so exercise, huge, huge. Um, I, can't, I can't stress that one enough. Um, travel. Travel, this is one that a lot of people may not, may not think about. It might be kind of hard in the day, in the era we live in. There's places you can go, and it doesn't have to be a, you know, I don't have to go to Bali or Indonesia or you know, the Maldives or any of these places. If that's what you want to do, cool. Um, but you're really looking for somewhere that you can find comfort. Maybe it's a, you know, somewhere you went when you were a kid to go pick up your Christmas tree or, you know, a hiking trail that your dad always took you on. You take your kids on it or, or, or yourself on it. Somewhere you can put your mind at ease and at rest. Somewhere with terrible cell signal. You get what I'm saying? Get out there, walk around barefoot, you know, weed out these stressors because once you're out there, you're alone in, in nature, especially out, out in the mountains or the woods or even on a beach, somewhere somewhere calm and peaceful, away from the hustle and bustle, um, where you can really just connect and focus on the relationships you have, you know, with yourself, with the Lord, uh, with your family, and just 
be with them in the moment, okay? Uh, that's going to help your overall health and wellness. Um, another thing, think positively, all right? Once you can separate out all of this stuff, what can I control, what can I not control? Now you can start, now you start getting a handle on these things. And you can start being more positive. And there's a lot of negative stuff that they throw at you all day long. Always constantly throwing negative stuff at you. But if you say, look, that's stuff I can't control. I can't control an earthquake. I can't control a hurricane. I can't control, you know, X, Y, and Z. But what I can control is how I respond to these things, how I can send aid or help if I, if I have a group that can do that or all, all these things. But you have to be able to think positively and be able to um, refocus your mind to a happy and healthy place. It can be very difficult. But if you do all these other steps too, you're going to be uh, happier. You're going to be more positive. You'll be able to think more positively uh, on, a, on a regular basis. All right. Um, and you'll also be more relaxed, cool, calm, and collected. You know, we'll talk about Cooper's color codes another time, but we want to exist in the yellow. We don't want to be in orange and red all the time because you can be stressed out. You don't want to be in the white because you get blindsided, right? You want to exist in an, in, in an area where you're, you're relaxed, you're aware, you know what's going on, uh, but you can you can kick it up a notch if you got to get into a decisive engagement, if you got to get into something and react to something that happens or be proactive before that event uh, does take place, okay? We'll talk about that on another episode, but um, Cooper's color codes, somebody remind me. I have to figure out how to remind myself, but um, but think positively. All right, you'll be more relaxed. You're gonna have uh, much better, uh, much much better able to respond to these things you can't control and to the things you can't control. And the last thing, um, prayer. Okay, prayer or meditation. Um, remember, uh, prayer is talking to the Lord. Um, just letting it out. Meditation is listening. Okay, so prayer and meditation they go go hand in hand. Throw it out there. You know. You know, pray for blessings of others. Um, you know, pray for the the things. You know, the, the, first of all, you know, what are we, what am I thankful for? Pray for others, and the Lord help me with this. All right, that's that's the, the keys to prayer. And then throw it out there and just listen. All right, I don't care if it's a lunch break first thing in the morning before you go to bed. It's a good idea to do it before you go to bed because it again helps bring you back down. We've talked about sleep hygiene before, um, but put that in your routine so you can unwind for the day. All right, or first thing in the morning when you wake up, you can get your day started properly. Um, but it's real simple. What am I thankful for? How can I pray for the blessings of others? And Lord, please help me with this. I need, I, I need strength. I need something. I need, you know, Lord's not a, um, he's not ATM, obviously. But Lord, give me the tools out to to be able to manage my finances better. Lord, not just not just Lord, give me a million dollars out of nowhere because obviously he knows you're going to blow it because you don't know <laughs> manage your money right uh and lord give me give me the opportunity the tools to to uh make more money and, and this that and the other and once you've got a handle boom there comes a million dollars whatever I don't, I don't know how it works but um but that time to to to, to pray and to meditate is going to again it's going to ground you it's going to root you it's going to help you become closer to the lord because you're listening you're having that active conversation uh with him um Pray with others. If you got your spouse, pray with your spouse uh, as often as you can, or your or your partner, or whoever, um, your boyfriend, girlfriend. You know, get yourselves rooted. That's really going to help you out in the long run. All right. So that was what seven seven points, something like that. We'll review them real real fast. Uh, explore your spiritual core. Uh, look for deeper meanings. Get out. Get it out. Uh, exercise. Travel. Thinking positively and taking that time to pray and meditate all right so that's our our seven things i got this kind of outline uh from illinois state university they had a pretty good little uh you know blog post about spiritual wellness uh if you don't want the link i can send it to you but i pretty much covered the whole the whole thing there so i've um, got to give credit where credit is due um, I, I i find some of these things and i like to expound upon them but it's stuff we've been talking about this whole time. They just kind of had it in more bullet format. So there you go. Um, spiritual health, right? How do, how do I improve my spiritual health and wellness? We just went over. All right, guys. Um, if you, again, if you like this content, please share it. Um, send it to somebody who needs it. We're all about helping each other out here. So uh, do what you got to do there. Um, I love you guys. Bunches. Let's take it out in a word of prayer. And then we will cut it for the weekend all right 
Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you again for just uh, giving us this opportunity to grow closer to you, Lord. Lord, thank you for being our spiritual rock, our physical rock, our mental rock, that foundation upon which we build our ourselves, our, our earthly empires here. You are the center. You are the, uh, again, the way, the truth, and the life, Lord. Thank you for, for loving us. Lord, I ask that you be with any, each and every person who tunes into this podcast. Lord, I ask that you just uh, bless them in abundance. Uh, Lord, just uh, whatever they need, whatever's on their hearts, if they don't even know what they're asking for, Lord, just you know what's in the hearts of all of us. Just help them find peace uh, and, and just help everyone relax. A lot of crazy stuff going on, but Lord, you are that calm that's amongst this storm of life. Lord, and I ask that you just uh, continue to uh, keep us strong, keep us faithful to you each and every day that we may just bring as many to the fold as we, as we can. And Lord, I ask all this in your holy name. Amen. All right, guys, appreciate it. This is, again, the Three Pillars Podcast. We're on episode 23. That's awesome. Uh, again, I'm trying to play a little bit of catch-up for you guys. Uh, sorry for that hiatus, but we're going to try to get back on a, on a weekly schedule. I, I got a, I got a, you know, a lot saved up that I want to want to do. It's just having the time to do it and then get it uploaded and ready for you guys. That's, you know, the other part of the time. You know, I could take 20 minutes and record it, but getting the rest of the stuff done takes a minute. So, um, but yeah, again, stay strong, stay healthy, and uh, stay close to the Lord. We'll talk to you soon.